In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. <clears throat> God, our Father, we come here on this Sunday morning knowing, Lord, that, that we have the inklings of faith. We have great confidence in You. And Father, we lay our hearts here at this altar and we ask to grow in our faith so that they not just be inklings, but that we may be set ablaze with love for You, so that we may say yes to You in all of the small things in life, so that we might choose You in everything. Open up our hearts, Lord, to hear what it is You wish us to hear and my voice to proclaim Your praise. We ask this through Christ our Lord. <clears throat> Amen. Oftentimes when we, uh, when we hear the, uh, the gospel proclaimed or, or the readings proclaimed, uh, it just kind of flies over our head. We don't really grasp the fullness of it, and, and that's the whole purpose why, the, why, the, why we preach, why we have the sermon, the, the homily, and so that the, the, the ordained priest might open up the scriptures to us. But oftentimes, you know, I as I, uh, as I proclaim the gospel, the gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And as we hear the, the readings, the word of the Lord, thanks be to God, you know, I say to myself, what did I just say thanks be to God to? And that second reading that we heard is one of those readings like, do I really know what I just said thanks be to God to? It's one of those readings, please God, please God, we read the readings before Mass, before we actually step foot in here, and as we hear them, it's not the first time that we're hearing them, but, you know, again, sometimes we just, especially when the microphone's not working, and the, the words just kind of fly right over our heads, and, and what did I just say thanks be to God to? And so that second reading from, from uh, Paul's letter to the Corinthians says, brothers and sisters, we are all we are all always courageous. Are we? Are we always courageous? Although we know that, that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Yet we are courageous. And we would rather leave the body and go home to the Lord. Do we? Do we? we I, I, I certainly pray that that's our desire, but Certainly not all of us, we cling to this world. Therefore, we aspire to please Him. Thanks be to God. Whether we are at home or away, thanks be to God. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Thanks be to God. So that each may receive his recompense according to what he did in the body, whether good or evil. Thanks be to God. We must all appear before the judgment seat each and every one of us, believer and unbeliever, those who do not profess faith in Jesus Christ, will stand before Jesus Christ and be judged. We will all stand before the judgment seat and to receive our recompense. What is recompense? Recompense means reward, means fulfillment, the promise to receive our recompense, to receive our reward, which is Him, which is the kingdom, which is the promise, which is why we profess faith in the Lord Jesus according to what we did and what we did not do. So which is to say that we walk by faith and not by sight, right? We walk by faith in Him, not clinging to the world, not clinging to, to, what, uh, to what the world prescribes at, that will get us home. Our recompense is in Him, and only in, in Him. We, we trust not in ourselves, trust not in the world, but we trust in, our, in our, our faith in the Lord Jesus. In the gospel, Jesus uses this image of, of the mustard seeds, right? When I was a little boy, I couldn't remember what the priest preached on at all, but I remember he brought in a mustard seed and he held it up, you know, at the time of the homily, and he said, this is a mustard seed, who can see it? No one. I'll hold it out after Mass, and I'll let you guys see what a mustard seed is. I remember being a little boy saying, that's the coolest thing ever. And so a mustard seed, Jesus uses this image of this mustard seed, the smallest of seeds that grows into these, um, you know, the, the mighty tree. And so it's our faith and our trust in the Lord, again, that will be our recompense. Even our small faith, our faith that can move mountains, Jesus says, if we just place our confidence in Him, not in ourselves, not in, not in the world. Oftentimes in life, I find myself doing this. 
I can speak for myself. I know what it's like in, uh, in many, many hearts. I think it's true in most of us. We always try to achieve the, the greatest things. I was trying to achieve a, you know, trying to get a promotion at work. We're trying to make sure, uh, you know, trying to make sure we, you know, have the, the nicest house on the block. You know, all those things are good, but we're always trying to earn people's respect even. And that can transfer over into the spiritual life. Like, I want to earn God's love for me. I'm trying to earn his respect. I'm trying to earn my salvation. I'm trying to, I'm trying to not walk by faith. <laughs> I'm trying to just earn my faith. I'm trying to get better, trying to, get, trying to achieve something more. And, and the reality is, is, that, is that God loves us for who we are. He loves us despite our falls, despite our weaknesses. He loves us in the midst of that. And so Jesus is telling us in this parable, as he uses this image, this image of this mustard seed, the smallest of all seeds, he's telling us that, that our faith is prominent in the small stuff, not just in the big, mighty moments. A lot of non-Catholic Christians will say, um, it, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? And they can name the date in which they became saved, right? They can name that date because that was the moment. It was that mountaintop experience. That was when they chose Jesus. And, and while, although, although that's great, we have to accept the Lord and we have to follow Him, but it's not just a one-time experience. And so often of the time, that's what we're looking for in the faith life. We're looking to try to be heroic, to try to make great deeds. We're trying to earn God's love. We're trying to earn his respect. And what the Lord says is, I want your love. I want your fidelity in the small stuff. I want your yes to me every day. I want your yes to me today. I want you to choose to follow me, to walk by faith not by sight, not by the way of the world, not by, not by any, any other path that anyone would set for you. I want you to follow me. The reality is, is that God doesn't have grandchildren. God doesn't have grandchildren. He only has sons and daughters. That's a concept perhaps many of us have never heard before. God doesn't have grandchildren. Our parents hand on the faith to us. Most of us who are probably here today, who are here today, were probably born Catholic. Many converts I know, but 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 our parents pass on the faith to us. We have to choose to follow Him. And what the Lord is setting before us today, what He was setting before me today, was to say, "I want your small yeses every day. I want your fidelity in." everything. Not just the one big yes. Not the big moments where you try to earn my love. Breaking into a burning building and trying to save someone is a heroic moment. But God wants our heroic moments. He wants our heroic yeses every day. The small stuff with our cranky spouse, with our grandkids who never call us, our children who never call us. He wants our yes to the to, the, uh, to the, the cash register person who's, who's frustrated and angry. He wants our yes to, to, uh, to our own spouse who, who isn't faithful. He wants us to come to him daily with those small yeses. And it begins with daily surrender. And that sounds mighty. That sounds like a big yes. But it really is small in comparison. At the, the start of the year in January, I, I put into the, uh, I did it last January, and I came here in this January again, a, uh, a consecration prayer that I wrote, and a parishioner came to me, and, and they, uh, the person said, this is one of the most beautiful prayers I've ever read in my life, and not to pat myself on the back, that's not what I mean, and, and the person said, can I print prayer cards for you and just hand them out? I said, sure, that's whatever you want to do. They gave me a thousand of them. <laughs> so the person's spreading them all over, churches all over too. But um, I set them out there in the back. I have a thousand, so you can take a couple more if you want. Uh, but this is a beautiful way just to, 
just to surrender our hearts to the Lord, to say yes to him in the big things, the small things, but to say yes daily. And so let's, uh, let's just use that image of that mustard seed to walk by faith in the Lord today, to say yes to him in the small things. If you're able to kneel, please kneel. If not, let's just sit on the edge of our seats and give this moment, this day, over to the Lord. And let's pray this prayer together. Lord Jesus, today I recommit myself to you. You are my King. You are my Savior. You are my Lord. I surrender my life to you. I surrender my family to you. I surrender my finances to you. I surrender my health to you. All fear be gone in the name of Jesus. All anxiety be gone in the name of Jesus. All discouragement be gone in the name of Jesus. All hopelessness and faithlessness be gone in the name of Jesus. Pour out your precious blood over me, Jesus. Heal me and my family. Protect us all from evil. Jesus and you, Jesus, in the heart of Jesus and Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.